תודה רבה לך, אינטי חולץ מחברת תלביט. Our next speaker would be Jason Dudier, Global Business Development, IT Business from Schneider Electric, and he will talk about data center revolution, simple is better. Mr. Dudier is responsible for the business development in EMEA, South America, and Asia Pacific for the IT solution portfolio for Schneider Electric, with focal points being prefabricated modular data centers, racks, power distribution units, and ISX data centers design tool. Please welcome Mr. Dudier. Prefabricated data center solutions for the planning, designing, and building of data centers offer significant advantages over the traditional way of building data centers. At Schneider Electric, we make it easy for you to understand how these solutions can deliver value to your business. Schneider Electric has built more traditional data centers than anyone in the industry. Budgetary planning, risk aversion, and long design and build cycles frequently lead to oversized designs. These oversized builds can be capex heavy and opex inefficient. They can also be unpredictable with schedule and cost overruns, compatibility issues, and oversights, all of which impact your business's bottom line. Prefabricated solutions remove these inherent business challenges and risks by delivering predictable performance and cost with on-time delivery, mitigating compatibility issues, and making your business more profitable. Schneider Electric offers the broadest range of sizes and types of prefabricated solutions that are all customizable to specific needs. We make it simple with a specific trade-off tool that compares prefab solutions to traditional designs, a library of reference designs, white papers, and a published list of customer testimonials. These help you make the most informed decisions for the best data center experience. We simplify the entire data center project experience. Our in-house solution architects are available to help you assess, plan, and design a prefabricated, engineered data center solution customized to your specifications. With over 45 years of experience and more than 500 prefabricated solutions already deployed, Schneider Electric is the global leader in prefabricated data centers. Toda. Boker Tov, Mashlomchem. My name's Jason Dodier, and I'm proud to be back again uh, representing APC by Schneider Electric here at uh, C5I. And I also want to say Toda and thank you to uh, Kayam and his team at Elbit for putting on a great presentation earlier. I think we're going to see some very powerful uh, similarities between what you've already looked at in the earlier presentations, what I'm going to showcase to you today. But just to continue the trend a little bit before we look at our vast portfolio of products and how they would fit within the Ministry of Defense um, and the IDF specifically, let's look at where data is going. Right? This is something we really manage closely at Schneider Electric. We're predicting, and we see by 2018, each person will use roughly one gigabyte of data. If each person's using one gigabyte of data, that equates to roughly 8.6 zettabytes. To put that into terminology that, that makes sense, uh, really, one, think about one gigabyte as 10 yards of books or a feature film, right, in standard format. Now, when you put it in a volume context, you could think of one gigabyte as an 11 ounce cup of coffee and one zettabyte as the Great Wall of China. That's the type of data proliferation we're talking about that's going to be coming onto the market, uh, and we see it changing rapidly. One of the big things we saw earlier in uh, the first presentation as well in terms of data moving into the market, today around roughly 40% of the world is connected. Okay, we see within the next eight years that's roughly going to double. Almost 85% of the world population today has at least access to 2G connectivity. Then you have uh, lasers, you have drones, you have balloons, Google, Facebook, all these innovative companies all over the world are putting things in place to make sure that everybody has access to the internet. So what does that mean for us? Well, one thing is the cloud, right? The cloud today is something that's very prevalent. We see it in many different applications that are run there. And of course, for a lot of applications, it works well. 
because with the cloud, you typically have 100 milliseconds of latency. You, have, you, you get your standard uptime, very secure infrastructure. And, and of course, the cloud supports three main elements, Internet of Things, industrial Internet of Things, so machine to machine, looking at the life of the unit, so taking the asset, taking the data and giving it you that input, uh, that input in something that's meaningful, and then social network and data sources. What we also see today, though, is a big request for what we call edge computing or converged infrastructure, where we bring a solution on site that reduces uh, the latency and sometimes allows organizations all over the world to standardize. And this could be a very powerful application also for the Ministry of Defense. We're going to look at a couple of our examples, both in terms of converged and micro DC and also prefab. Uh, a couple of, uh, of solutions that fall within each one. If you look at uh, the first side, where we have, we have edge and then we have cloud. Cloud is standard mail, uh, social networking, standard applications. With edge, you have machine learning, augmented reality, and, and different things you want to have on site. So these are just a couple of different scenarios displaying the two together. Now, our big mission within the company today is, is to really be future driven. So business wise and future driven. Some of the big technologies that we have realized in the market and we're developing solutions to meet those requirements. You have artificial intelligence and we see IBM recently focusing around Watson with their cognitive business unit. We have augmented reality. So if you're anywhere in the world and you're at a place, if you're at a building or a monument and it's closed, you can use the GPS within your cell phone to give you all of that information. We have facial recognition technology, which was talked about earlier, with Elbit really proliferating the market today and being a big source of data, and then 3D printing also, having the capability to print things, whether it be ceramics, toys, or even taking that a step further in the future. The three bi big gateways we see, too, from an infrastructure standpoint, uh, that where edge could fall in is you've got standard on-site data centers, regional data centers, and, of course, gateways and embedded devices. Big areas we focus on increasing the consistency and reliability, reducing one-time engineering and unique solutions, and then of course minimizing on-site work, custom programming, and of course human error, which accounts for 85% of the problems we see globally with data centers and downtime, which can cost companies lots of money and ultimately the, the life of a business. So, APC by Schneider Electric has a, a vast array of solutions. We play in a number of spaces, and I think it's important before we dig into our solution, just to highlight what exactly it is we do and what we can bring to the table along with some of the other partners and strategic companies that are in the market today. Not only do we have solutions for medium voltage switch gear and transformers, we have solutions for racks and cable management, UPSs, services, and of course security. This is, this is via strategic acquisitions over the years and of course organic growth that we continue to look for within our business. So Schneider Electric is very active global pair in terms of the infrastructure and data center market. We talked about Converge very quick at the beginning. I just want to highlight to the group here what it is we're doing today and some of the companies you might recognize on this list that we're providing really the physical infrastructure. You see, we work with HP, we work with Dell, we work with NetApp and Cisco. We're making sure that we provide that life support unit to provide a best-in-class solution and product going to the market and going to your data centers, especially when it's a critical, critical application. So I just wanted to share that with you. You can see where Schneider Electric plays a role in each and every application that's out there. And this technology is definitely going to be taking on uh, further roles in the market today. So if you look at our solution in terms of the racks, UPSs, modular power distribution, we've got everything from the room to the row to the rack. And to sum it up in terms of the overview of our company and our business, we look at converged, okay, Internet of Things, cloud computing, we have a basic edge approach. Then you start to build the infrastructure around it. You have, the, you have your in-room cooling, your row cooling. We have UPSs, three-phase UPSs. We have building management, support systems, structured services. So not only do we have a powerful data center solution, but we also have the Schneider Electric machine behind us, and that makes us very unique and powerful in the market today. So you saw the video at the beginning, and that was a nice segue into the presentation, but what is prefabricated data centers. So let's dive in a little bit uh, deeper there. So I want to start with you by looking at what we call our IT modules. Basically, an IT module is you've got your racks, accessories, power distribution, servers, networking, all of that would be housed 
inside of an IT module. Now, to support those IT modules, we have what's called power modules. And the power modules consist of the UPS, the switchgear, everything needed to basically support the infrastructure that you're providing, whether it be inside or outside of, of your building structure. And then the third element that we're going to look at is the cooling. All right, we have different methods and manners of cooling solutions depending on where in the world we're deploying. And we're going to drill down specifically into the military applications in a moment. But you can see here, this is an example of a prefab chilled water plant. So we look at the application. Our best-in-class team will work with you to make sure we give you the right cooling that's going to be suitable for the data center environment. So what are the needs? What are the data center needs of the military industry today? Four big elements here. Time, being able to deploy rapidly in remote locations. Flexibility as well. Flexibility is something that comes up a lot, too. Customers are always requesting in the defense field for us to be able to provide solutions that are flexible and dynamic. Harsh environments, for sure. We need to be able to operate these solutions at the highest level in the most unique and diverse places that you can imagine all over the world. And we've got those solutions already up and running and deployed. And the fourth is security. And we're going to look at security a little more in detail, but being able to meet marine standards, ballistic missling, shielding. This is an approach we take very, very seriously, especially in North America and in the, in the Israeli market. And I'm going to highlight to you in a minute why that's important. So how does prefab fit? So I highlighted, so that's what the military needs. We know it, and we've been working on it, but why prefab? Ruggedized in nature, in terms of how we can deploy it and how we design the solution. Faster deployment. So we're working, of course, with your support to put together base designs and ideas and with our team to make sure we can deploy rapidly as you need it and then added flexibility. Again, there's a lot of things that you're going to see today through the presentations. My goal is for you to come away with some of the key terminology and words to really identify your current situation with our solutions, what we can offer. Not just on the product side, but we also have full data center lifecycle services that we really are best in class through ITB and through the rest of the Schneider Channel. So we will help you with the planning. We have, we're a world leader in terms of the base designs we have available. So best in class designs, we have that. Then we take it all the way through the assessment stages, operating, building, and designing, making sure we put the solution together and that we are able to sustain it together and continue to grow and, and add, you know, add modules as you see fit and as you grow. So I advise you all to take a quick look at this slide. If, there, if you have any of these problems today, then a prefabricated solution would be most ideal for you. So if you need something in a remote location, it has to be set up quickly. It's got to be ruggedized and portable. It may need to be deployed by a C-17 or C-130 um, you know, in terms of mobility. These are the things we need to consider when you're looking at the type of solution uh, in the market. So what are some of the recommended form factors that we have in place? All right. We've got the smart shelter container, which is standard. We have the module, which is a non-ISO, and it's larger. And this is more for military headquarters, training centers, uh, warehouses. And then we've got, of course, our smart bunker FX, which falls into the edge computing category. And it's available in numerous sizes, again, remote locations, harsh environments, uh, both indoor and outdoor. Pre-configured base designs, this is just to help you to take things to the next level in terms of what you're looking for. It could be an all-in-one. Uh, we have single modules, dual modules that can be bayed together. The key thing here is just for you to see the imagery that we've been able to provide. Uh, I wish we had one live here to show you, but this is also good. You can see how the solution's bayed together. You have a vestibule with fire suppression in the front of the unit. You have two rows of racks, okay, and, and they're joined together, and we're able to continue to gang them as you want to grow, as you scale your solution, your system. And this is actually a live application we've deployed with non-ISO solution. We used uh, natural free cooling, and we're currently up to 120 racks and continuing to expand. So there is no limit to what we can do with a prefabricated uh, solution uh, that we put in place. And this is something new that I want to share with you all. We've taken the inputs specifically from the Israeli market and some of the other countries in EMEA to put together some standard base designs to improve upon how we deliver the solution to the market. And you can see we've got three big ones, a 20-foot all-in-one, 40-foot all-in-one, and an IT container. And these are our base designs in terms of the smaller applications. So an SX for an IT room, 
smart bunker CX for a home, more for an office type environment or a small medium business, and then the smart bunker FX, which is more ruggedized and standard, which would be great for, for the military as well. Power modules, we talked about that. I just want to show you some of the standard designs we've got, ranging from 250 uh, megawatts all the way up to 1.2 megawatts. And then we have a vast array of cooling solutions as well on the market, from chillers to uh, thermal storage, and of course, natural free cooling, if you're in a region that can adapt to that. Additional add-ons that are very important for the Israeli market, and specifically for defense, EMF and EMP, so pulse protection, bulletproof, air transportable, shock absorption, vibration and burglary. These are critical. So you need to make sure when you're, going to the, when you're going to the table, when you're designing a solution, you have to be working, especially here uh, and in North America, working with a best-in-class uh, solution provider and partner channel. We will give you all of these different things to make sure we're protecting your critical assets, especially today where there's so many um, cyber attacks and industries and agencies that are looking to compromise this critical data. EMI shielding as well. So radio frequency is big thing. So just, just in closure, I know I have uh, two minutes left here, um, but we wanted to highlight some of the additional points, shock absorption, fast leveling, and I wanted to give you just quickly two live examples, if I may, uh, that I think that relate very strongly to the military. Case in point number one is a military field operation we did in Central Asia. Okay, if you look at this, what was the need? What was the requirement of the customer? The customer was looking for a solution that could be transportable, by a, CI, a C-130 or, or, or built in the U.S., security specs for a harsh environment and deliverable to any location with a setup in three days. So you can see really quick, here's what we designed. It was 520 ISO containers, 14 racks with 8 kilowatts a rack, two IT modules, power module, chiller module, and then a fast leveling system. So we took the full solution, we were able to deliver it at a very high level, and this is working for that customer. They've continued to grow with us and develop uh, throughout that region. And this is a look internally. And my last, uh, my last one that I want to share with the group today is a military base we did as well in North EMEA. The need was to achieve a secure and ruggedized data center space in a limited time frame. So you see a trend here, of course, within the military applications. We had a few months to deploy, and they needed to minimize the on-site construction. We deployed here. One IT smart CELTA contain container was a non-ISO, so 45 foot, uh, larger, more space to work with. We did chilled water, power distribution, and then they also requested us high frequency and low frequency uh, shielding as well. And then this is a closer look at that development and the deployment, how we put it in place. So this is going to be available for the group uh, to share with you. I just wanted to give you a couple of high level uh, real life applications that we've put in place for the military and for the defense all over the world. And just in closing for us, you know, why Schneider Electric? I think we hit on it well in the presentation, but first and foremost for us, security is number one. It matters in a big way, and especially in this part of the world. We're your partner and we're here for you to make sure that we deliver the best in class security solutions and platforms. Number two, our unique customer centric approach. Our team here is constantly working with the customers, with our partner channel, to make sure that we give you the right solutions and the right amount of time needed to put in place the standards and solutions for your company. Establish a global and regional support team. So we've got representatives here today from all over the world, and we want to make sure that that team is engaging together to support not, the, not just the local teams, but our regional application centers. And the last one is, of course, our range of prefabricated base modules and designs we, we make sure that we've implemented them, we've put them together, and they're really exactly what we need to do to continue to grow here in Israel and to protect all of you and make sure that the Ministry of Defense is seen as, a, is continued to be seen as a best in class uh, all the way around. So with that said, a toda. I know I'm out of time, but thank you so much again. It's been great to be here and uh, look forward to meeting uh, all of you outside and having a discussion. So thanks again, it was a pleasure.